Okay guys, our next setup is going to be uh, two by sixes, penetration into this material. Uh, same thing what you find in two by fours and whatnot. Uh, these are, uh, we'll be shooting for 15 feet away. They're spaced apart by a two by four, so uh, they all have the same spacing. We're going to initially do the 60 grain VMAX for the 223. Uh, and then the 147 grain HST from 9 mil to compare since the VMAX fragmented in the drywall to an extent we want to see how that uh, how that changes when we shoot something such as these boards and since the 9 mil punched all the way through as did most of the rounds uh, we want to see if that holds if it gives us uh, that deep penetration again or, or if in this kind of material we're looking at something different. Okay, so this will be a 60 grain VMAX, again out of the PSA, 16-inch uh, barrel. Uh, this uh, loading is done uh, is by HPR, so it should be pretty similar to every, you know, Hornady Urban Tap and what have you. Okay. All right, so it looks like it stopped in the third block of wood. Completely fragmented out, uh, from what I can tell, stopped in the third block of wood. So that's that's at least a little encouraging. I'm going to move this board to the back since it's kind of cracked. In fact, we'll, we'll actually we're going to swap these boards out. We'll put these towards the back so we can uh, get some fresh boards up front. We'll keep rotating these around. But it definitely fragmented out in that wood, so that's encouraging. Uh, if that's the type of performance you're you're looking for, uh, that's encouraging anyway. If it's not the type of performance you're looking for, that's disconcerting. Put these towards the top. All right. Okay, this will be the 147 grain, 9 millimeter. HST. Looks like we got uh, three boards of penetration and we bounced off the fourth. So, again, uh, the VMAX in that case showed a, a little bit less penetration, although uh, not too bad. Yeah, so at least we got some reduced penetration there using the VMAX. So, now we'll switch to the XM193 since a lot of guys say that round fragments and material and, and whatnot, and we'll see if uh, what results we get on that. Okay, this will be the XM193. Uh, hopefully it'll stay in, <laughs> in line. And uh, We flipped the board, so we got fresh portions of the planks to shoot at. But this will be a ball round from the 5.56. This is XM193, so this is 5.56 velocities uh, from the 16-inch barrel. We saw in the other test uh, this didn't, didn't offer any fragmentation, so let's see how this performs in this. Okay, well, it looks like it fragmented, uh, or, well, it either fragmented or that's just pieces of the board, but it exited out the side of the fourth board. It didn't stop in it. It was still moving. Uh, we might try that again, maybe, since they're wanting to curve off to this end. It seems like almost every time to the left. We'll, we'll put that over a little more and see if we can't trap it a little better in there. Okay, this will be the XM193 again. Hopefully we can keep it in the boards. <laughs> That's all right. uh, okay. Uh, it looks like it stopped. Yes, it's actually inside there. So one, two, three, four, and stopped in the fifth board. So it out-penetrated our, our 9 millimeter, which actually just dented the fourth board. XM193 fully penetrated forward and lodged in the fifth board. All right, we'll do the 545 uh, full metal jacket just to see how that uh, bi-metal jacket comes into play on that. All right, guys, this will be the 545 60 grain WPA uh, full metal jacket. Uh, this has that bi-metal jacket, so we'll see uh, how that affects in comparison to the 193.
and just like XM 193 it looks like we exited out the side I see the round in the third board here looks completely intact yeah it's uh, completely intact as it's entering the third board and it does look like we got a an exit that spun out the side so kind of hard to catch these full metal jackets once they start uh, tumbling through uh, let's try something else okay because we were able to trap that uh, XM 193 round uh, in the fifth board we're gonna see if the 62 grain this is gonna be the Tula ammo it's uh, again a bimetal jacket like the 545 we're gonna see if that changes the penetration characteristics any uh, our 545 uh, skipped out of the side where you have a hard time trying to capture these full metal jackets like this. Uh, there was no indication of fragmentation on the 5 4, which I wouldn't expect. It's a bi metal jacket bullet, but it skipped out of the side at the third board, I believe it was, and yeah, who knows where it ended up. But maybe we'll be able to catch this one like we did the XM and see if it offers any difference in that bi metal construction in this material. Okay, we tried to favor the right because we seem to keep deviating left and <laughs> oh yeah okay um <laughs> okay so in and out first board second board it still hasn't destabilized yet third board uh, fourth board finally it's destabilized fifth board sixth board and it looks like it finally stopped in our seventh board, and you can actually see the full profile of the bullet. So no doubt that bimetal jacket uh, definitely, or I believe anyway, the bimetal jacket is definitely keeping it from deforming as much and uh, is exhibiting a greater penetration, which I would expect with the 545 as well. Unfortunately, we couldn't catch. I don't think I really have that much room to be shooting through the boards anymore. Uh, at least you guys are going to probably say, oh, well, the board was compromised. Uh, but it exhibited the same though, a full profile instead of anything kind of bent up or, or anything before it had exited out. But well, there you go, guys. Again, uh, in wood, it seemed like the VMAX round or the rounds that fragmented in the drywall um, do seem to reduce penetration uh, in this type of material over full metal jackets. Uh, full metal jackets, though, did out penetrate the handgun. So, again, uh, load selection is going to be important when we're talking about reducing over penetration if that's your goal uh, it's going to be important uh, that just because you have a 223 or 556 you think oh it'll penetrate less than a handgun and building material well that's not necessarily the case it certainly can be true but you need to test out your ammo and do some research on it otherwise you might be loading your weapon with uh, uh, with a false uh, you know with incorrect information and as a result it's counterintuitive to what you're actually trying to achieve all right we'll have a Another video coming up next, we're going to do some penetration tests into uh, the jugs because we're going to see if this VMAX round, how it compares to the number four buck uh, in terms of penetration into uh, a media such as water and whether or not it's going to be sufficient for home defense.